Hello folks, this movie will be about the uh, next conversion of the normal bike into the electrical one. On the rack you can see Turner and DHR downhill bike. With this massive fork from uh, DVO with 200mm travel. And the Crane Creek Air uh, back uh, suspension. Frame has a standard BSA 83mm crank. Yeah. Oh, I think that's all most important elements about this frame. So I will show you quickly the motor I'll be putting in, which will be CI61 Pro. Yeah, and then you will see most interesting parts of this conversion. Okay, on the table is the main star of this whole conversion. This is CI61 Pro motor, as I mentioned. Comes with uh, this ICBAC855 uh, controller. The width is 83 millimeters. Yeah, next, you can see all the parts the chain ring. This is 750C uh, display type. Some auxiliaries, the cable harness, and so on. The chain to the main gear. Uh, disassemble the crank. Uh, and the cups. Pedal okay. cranks. Okay. Let's start assembling this time on the frame. Alright. Here you can see a red installed motor with the display and the controls. I will show you quickly the installation of the motor. I'm using this uh, steel bracket with uh, additional protecting pads to avoid any clashing in the motor uh, against the frame whenever you have like rebound movement. I will show you quickly the cabling. The battery is not yet connected. You can see this XT90 plug waiting for the bracket. Here is the speed sensor. Here is the cable going to the display. Over there. Yeah, it's a good fit. The base of this uh, display is quite wide, so there was no problem with the clearance. You can see better here. Here is the controller for the display. The gas. Unfortunately, this bike has uh, formula brakes with this weird shaped uh, lever. There is a problem with installing this uh, brake sensors over there. It will not work as intended. Therefore, I will not be using the brake sensors here. So, these cables will be left. The owner of this bike will change the brakes to another type. Thank you. Then you can uh, utilize brake sensors. Okay. I also replace completely the drivetrain. I'm using a SRAM brake derailleur X7 together with Shimano cassette. Nine gears and a uh, chain from Shimano as well. Don't remember that I had the name HD something. Okay. So that's how it looks like. On the table you can see the universal mounting bracket for the poly battery, which will be used together with this motor. This is one of the best designs on the market, in my opinion, thanks to this short base. 
since we are using an external controller we don't need this pocket which is coming with many other types and we have more space for the cells in the battery this bucket has also the slotted holes for the bolts it can be mounted in, in place of the water uh, bottle holder this bracket will be installed on top tube of the frame over here I have to put bike on the ground and remove the clamp so then I can find out the best position for this bracket to avoid potential conflict with the fork when it's rotated in this position as you can see I want to avoid uh, hitting the fork and the battery all the time see there are no holes on the frame in order to fasten the bracket I will use the rivet nuts these are a stainless steel type and by also aluminium ones but I recommend the steel ones much stronger can hold the load of the battery so I'll be doing with drink uh, at least two holes maybe even three the far sides of the bracket and then I'll just fasten it using normal bolts on the table you can see the tools I have to use to drill holes simple driver and the bits this uh, rivet nut is 7 mm diameter so I have to gradually increase the size of the hole you cannot really know a good uh, hole with the biggest bit ok so what next install, in order to install this uh, rivet nut you need this uh, tool Riveter. So I'm just installing this nut on this driver, and then you need to put this in the hole and just squeeze it hard. You just need to be careful not to over tighten, otherwise, you will strip off the uh, threads inside the nut ok, I'll show you quickly how to install these nuts it's very simple once you assess how much squeeze you need you're just putting this in the hole making sure that it's perpendicular to the axis of the top tube and then you just need to squeeze it gently but firmly ok and then you can remove the driver you need to always be careful about the threads this is harder than steel it's always stronger than the rivet nut so if you over tighten this tool it will just destroy the threads here you can see the rivet nut installed in place nice and clean this is the best way of attaching the brackets for batteries on the aluminium frames forget about carbon it's not allowed to drill holes in carbon but any alloy steel are perfect for this so I really don't understand why people are just going for like you know weird clamp solutions when you can just do like this and then you know this rivet nut looks like you know uh, installed in factory it's hardened steel will not break yeah, that's the best solution here you can see the bracket and the connector made by me to connect it to the motor try to make it as watertight as possible so the main uh, cable leads are sealed off uh, with this uh, tech 7 sealant inside then I put this uh, wrap Shrink, uh, it's like a thermal shrinking tube so I shrink it over the connector I use this very neat uh, wrap 
for the cables towards the bracket. Just to protect the cables from the mechanical wear. And looks very tidy. Okay, it's time to mount it and test the motor. Okay folks, the conversion is completed. You can see this uh, small DP5 battery on the frame. The final one will be the P9. A good thing with this uh, bracket is that you can swap the different types of batteries. I'll show you quickly how the cable looks like, routing of it from the battery to the motor. Uh, very well integrated with the frame. So let's show you quickly the motor in operation. To start of the system, always remember to go on level one at least if you want to use the throttle. Sorry for the light, oh, maybe now it's better. People are just asking plenty of questions on CYC form why the motor doesn't work on the throttle when they just have zero level or the assist level. You need to go to one at least. And then the throttle works. And that's how motor works. Cool. <laughs> This 48 volt version. So this is not the top speed. We go to level five. Yeah. On the shuttle it doesn't matter which this level you are riding in. You just snap your reaction of the throttle. It matters for the pedaling when you are using pass mode pedal assistance. Let's say. Okay, folks, I took this beast for a test ride. We'll see how it performs. <sighs> Always testing bugs before I give them to the clients. So we'll start with mode 1, I'm not sure if you see it very well. Maybe now better. Yeah. It's 48 volt battery. You see that I need to change the pedals. The right one is broken. So this is mode 1. Very small support. We'll go to five directly. Changing the gears. How much better? Ooh. And the throttle. Auto is pulling 2000 watts already. It's crappy weather. Everything is wet. I wonder if you see it very well. Let me check the lenses. Okay. I hope the screen is better now. So, I'll show you top speed test. It's going up to 60s.
We're going on the oil and throttle. Let's go to level five and highest gear. And let's rock! 50! Higher gear. <laughs> Maybe smaller ones better. Okay, I was switching almost 60, but I'm going against the wind. to change this pedal, it's annoying. Okay, I think I'm done with testing. It rocks. But it would be even better with 72 volt battery. <laughs>